Hey everybody, welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, Rogue. Megan Fox is some kind of soldier that's over in Africa, um, and her team and her are trying to rescue a bunch of hostages. And so, of course, they have to battle the bad people they're trying to rescue them from. And, excuse me, evidently, not only do they have to go through that, but they also have to fight some lions, I think, is what goes on. Hasn't been rated yet on IMDb. I will be the first. Um, so, I'll get into it here, find out a little better idea of what it's about, and then ultimately let you know what I think. I didn't notice any other actors in it that I recognized, besides Megan Fox, she's from Transformers, and uh, some other things, you know. I haven't seen her in anything really recently, because I think uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the last thing I saw her in, so. Alright, let's get into it and see if it's any good. Stick around, I'll be back. Hey everybody, we're at the credits of Rogue, and uh, it had some good parts, and it, you know, um, didn't have some good parts. So first of all, sorry, no check-ins tonight. I mean, it was kind of what it said it was. Basically, she, um, um, Megan Fox runs what I, I'm calling a group of mercenaries. They're not military. They're doing. They're being paid to go and rescue these people who have been captured, right? Or this person who's been captured, the governor's daughter. That's really who it becomes. Um, so they're going to to that, uh, and it's in Africa, and they run into the to the bad guys, whatever the the gang that is holding them captive, and they're trying to um, you know rescue them and then get away. And as they're trying to get away, you know whatever happens, they end up at a spot where there's you know a, a lion that is roaming the area, um, and so now. Now, not just fighting that gang, there now they have to fight this lion, you know, who's just running around and killing a whole bunch of mercenaries. And then, of course, the gang finds out. So it's like they have two oppositions for them, the lion and the other gang, and, and trying to save the girl that they, you know, the governor's daughter and anything else that happens. So that's really the storyline of it, which is okay. Pretty interesting. Um, and... Uh, you know, and I'm watching the beginning of it, and I'm really interested to see how Megan Fox is in this role. You know, and all the other roles we see her in, it's not so much like the leader of a mercenary group. But I thought she did a pretty good job. Um, I couldn't fault her too much for how well she acted. I think a lot of the problems in this movie are with the dialogue. Um, some of the lines that people were given to say. And we'll talk a little bit more about that, but before I forget about it, there's a cliff jump scene right and it is just I mean the whole movie seems like it's shot pretty good I'm not sure where it was shot but I mean it looked like a normal war type movie or you know um, but they when they jump off the cliff it looks like a a scene from the great American hero like an 80s TV show so if you do watch this movie watch for that scene it was like what um, and the lion was CGI I'm assuming it had to be CGI I'm sure and it look it, you could tell like a lot of times when they do this kind of stuff, you can't tell. And it's like, wow, that's real. This one either was, or it was animatronic. I don't know what it was, but it was so like, didn't fit well into the, into the movie. So, um, so there were some errors there. And like I said, some of the dialogue, like, um, you know, and, and some of the actions that they took. So I'll just give you this example. Like the, the gang guy is there and he's holding a girl hostage and Megan Fox has a gun. And, you know, she's got a plan, whatever, and she puts down her gun, and he's like, yeah, go find the other hostage, the other girl. And he just lets her go. You know what I mean? Like, in this whole, it's not like there's a room. He, she's outside. There's, she could have just did whatever she wanted to do. And he just sat back against the truck and said, well, wait. I was like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the, the, and he says to her at one point, I got the gun, I got the power. Where it sounds like, as I repeated to you, okay, that's a pretty good line. Not in the sense of the movie. You have to see it. Like, um, So there was a lot of that kind of stuff going on. There was one guy who actually was the jokester. And, you know, he had some funny lines. But they were at inappropriate times, I felt. Um, you know, I get it. But I, it's like they're in the middle of a shootout and he says something. And in some movies, like comedy movies, that's appropriate. And not that there shouldn't be comedy in this. But it was just ill-placed, I'd say. You know? Um, kind of got a smile off my face 
on my face, whatever, but, uh, you know, it didn't just didn't feel right. Just didn't all go together as well as I had thought. So I thought it was interesting. Evidently, the, I guess, the producer of this movie or the, or the director, I forget, um, has an interest in, in the lion trade in Afghan or Africa, sorry, Afghan, <laughs> in Africa. So, you know, it was a, a thing that uh, I thought that was interesting. I think that was the main point of it, not so much of the other piece of it, like with the governor's daughter and what was going on there. They touched more on what's going on with lions and, and, and the mistreating of lions in Africa. So, there you go. Um, what can I say? I, I, I don't know. It's interesting to see. If you're a fan, if you've seen Megan Fox and some other things, I think it's worth to see her come out and do something like this. Uh, it's a little different, a little out of her element. Um, and that's it. I mean, that's not terrible. I'm talking maybe a five for this one for me. Um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got. I think I told you everything I needed to know. All the faux pas in it. Decent kind of storyline in a sense. I don't know. Eh, eh. you figured out I, there, I also watched a movie where the you know the armed guys ended up fighting ghosts so this one's a little bit different they're actual lions so all right that's it I'm trying to pull more things out of the air I think I've given you all I can give you if you check it out let me know love to hear your thoughts what you think of the cliff jump um, how about all the goofy lines all that kind of stuff love to hear your thoughts um, and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and also tell all your friends and keep coming back to Kimmel's Irish Pub